There is no one else in the state of Maine, almost no one else in the entire United States, who has a job like James Kennerly. He is the municipal organist. Yes, that's his title for the city of Portland. He is the man who plays the magnificent Kochmar organ, organ in Portland. Portland's Merrill Auditorium. And he's back with us on 207. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure to have you here. It's great to be here. Robert. You got a show coming up on July 15th, this coming Saturday. It's called Fab Film Music. What are you going to be playing? So I'm going to be playing, kind of as the title implies, all of the greatest music from the greatest Hollywood movies. Um, of the last sort of 60, 70 years. And these are pieces that people are going to recognize because movies such as? Absolutely. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, E.T., um, uh, Interstellar, which is a, a relatively modern space movie. So there's stuff that people are going to totally freak out about. Is this the kind of thing that you enjoy playing? Which I guess is kind of a, a, an awkward way of asking, are you yourself a movie fan who pays attention to the music in the movies? Yes, I'm afraid I'm guilty as charged. I always <laughs> listen to the music first. And for me, the magic of those movies is really summed up by the music, especially when you think of those amazing sort of Steven Spielberg, John Williams, um, George Lucas movies, that the music has so much power. So. Yeah, it's always got my attention. This is fitting because when movies first came along in the silent movie era, what they had was a live performer who would be playing an organ or the piano yeah. in the theater. No, no soundtrack coming from the movie, no dialogue coming from the movie, but you had that instrument there in the theater that was an, 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 a crucial accompaniment yeah. to the film. Absolutely. And in the 1920s, they weren't able to synchronize the sound and the moving image. So yeah, people like me would have to improvise the, the movie score, which is amazing. And then we got replaced <laughs> in the 1930s. <laughs> they worked out how they could do it, and then we were kind of redundant, except we still do that now, which I think is awesome. But. I'm like you, I'm a huge fan of the compositions that are in films. And I've always thought that they're kind of a perfect bridge between classical music, which some people think they don't like or don't like, and popular music. And this is the way to sort of bring the two together, at least I've always thought. Yeah. Absolutely. And one of the thinking behind this concert is it's summertime. We want to have fun. We didn't want to do anything that was too kind of serious, too highbrow. Um, we really wanted people to enjoy themselves. And, and really, as you say, that music just is so evocative. And for every single generation, there's, there's so much they can enjoy from it. When you play the Kachmar organ, you're capable of creating an enormous range of sounds and music. But for this performance, you're going to have some special guests with you, the Kach Kachmar brass and percussion. Yes, I mean, it's like a kid in a candy store with me. The Kochmar organ has all these amazing sounds. We really don't need any friends uh, to perform with. But when we do have them, the shiny brass instruments, the percussion, they just bring that extra sense of pizzazz. And I figured, you know, this is Hollywood music. Everything is about excess. Um, so why not make it even better? Yeah, I mean, because the Kochmar organ provides this big, bold sound anyway. But when you have these accompanists, then it makes, it makes that Hollywood music really pop, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly, yeah. Uh, and you're going to hear a lot of those sort of brass, trumpety horn sounds. And if you watch any movie, they actually start with a little fanfare that would you know, show the, the Hollywood studio image at the beginning. And so we're actually beginning the concert with that. And then we're going to go on a journey um, of this amazing music. Uh, do you have to do a lot of preparation yourself for a show like this? Or, or is, to some degree, the music in your head, like the Star Wars theme, you say, oh yeah, I, everybody knows the Star Wars <laughs> theme, you know the Star Wars exactly. theme. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mixture because everything is in my head, but when you play with friends, you have to make sure you're all playing from the same lead sheet. hundreds of hours of going through and making these little minute transcriptions and arrangements so that all of us can can perform the same music at the same time. Hundreds of hours? Yes, yes. Uh, my wife is not terribly happy about this. Um, we're actually expecting a baby in August and so this like our household is just <laughs> insane at the moment but I said you know this is a great project it's worth putting in the time. Well we appreciate the sacrifices you're <laughs> making. James Kennerly performing on the Kochmar organ Saturday July 15th for Fab Film Music. Thanks an awful lot for coming Thank in. You. If you'd like more information on that show, just head to the 207 section of our website or app.